Which actor starred in the 1988 film Cocktail? Was it A, Johnny Depp? Was it B, Bill Murray? Was it C, Emilio Estevez? Or D, Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise starred in the film Cocktail from 1988. In the ninth annual Razzie Awards celebrating the worst movies from that year, Cocktail won in the worst picture and worst screenplay categories, beating out such wonderful films as Rambo 3, Mac and Me, and Caddyshack 2. Well done, Tom Cruise. If you had the correct answer, give yourself some fake internet points. Welcome back to That Quiz Show. Today's episode is a cocktail trivia quiz. We have 10 questions lined up for you today. As always, we'll kick things off with five general knowledge questions, followed by five questions with a shared format. Today, in our second round, we're going to be testing your knowledge of cocktail garnishes. Are you ready to play? Let's go. Question number one. To be classified as a gin, a spirit must contain what pine-flavored botanical? What pine-flavored botanical is essential for a spirit to be called a gin? Number two, what is the official national cocktail of Brazil? What is the official national cocktail of Brazil? The U.S. doesn't have a national cocktail, but bourbon whiskey was proclaimed as the U.S. national spirit by an act of Congress in 1964. Feel free to suggest some ideas for an American national cocktail in the comments. Question three. What is the difference between a Canadian Caesar and an American Bloody Mary? These are both tomato-based cocktails, but there's a key ingredient in a Caesar that is missing from a Bloody Mary. What is the difference between a Caesar and a Bloody Mary? Question four. If you order a single malt neat in a rocks glass with a water back, what is your bartender going to bring you? What will you get if you order a single malt neat in a rocks glass with a water back? And question five. The Tequila Sunrise was popularized by which heavy drinking British rock band on their 1972 US tour? The modernized recipe for this ombre cocktail featuring grenadine was created in Sausalito, California and was served at the band's tour launch party. Which British band popularized the Tequila Sunrise on their 1972 US tour? For our next five questions, we're gonna test your knowledge of cocktail garnishes. I'll name a drink and you'll need to tell me the traditional garnish for that tincture. Feeling lucky? I'll give you a bonus point if you can also name the style of glassware in which it's typically served. They say your first sip is with your eyes or something like that. Let's see how well you know your cocktail garnishes. Question six, what is the iconic garnish for the pina colada? What is the garnish for a pina colada? Question seven, which two ingredients double as the garnish for a mojito? What are the two classic garnishes for a mojito? Question eight, how is a Gibson traditionally garnished? The Gibson is a variation on the martini. What's the garnish for a Gibson? Question nine, what is the classic garnish for a Boulevardier? This cocktail is a variation on the Negroni made with whiskey instead of gin. What is the garnish for a Boulevardier? And our final question of the episode number 10, what ingredients are used to garnish a Pimm's cup? We're looking for four elements to garnish this British summer cocktail. What are the four classic garnishes for a Pimm's cup? And here we are at the midpoint of the episode. If you're enjoying this quiz, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Let's check our answers. Question number one. What pine-flavored botanical is essential for a spirit to be called gin? Without botanicals, gin is just vodka, and that's just disappointing. Each gin has a unique recipe, but it's the juniper berries that are responsible for the pine flavor in gin. They're also required by law, cocktail law. Number two, 
What is the official national cocktail of Brazil? The Caparinha is the national cocktail of Brazil made with cachaça, limes, and simple syrup. Cachaça is only made in Brazil and is distilled from fermented fresh sugarcane juice. By contrast, rum can be made anywhere in the world and it's typically distilled from molasses, which is a byproduct of sugar production. Question three, what is the difference between a Caesar and a Bloody Mary? The difference is in the tomato juice. A Bloody Mary is made from straight tomato juice and a Caesar is made with Clamato, which is tomato juice infused with clam broth. Sounds odd, but it makes for a superior brunch cocktail. Up until about 2010, if clams weren't your thing, you could always mix your vodka with a beef amato juice instead and make yourself a Bloody Bull. It was, you guessed it, tomato juice infused with beef stock and a dash of Worcestershire. Sadly, Mott's discontinued it. I can't imagine why. Question four, what will you get if you order a single malt neat in a rocks glass with a water back? Your bartender will bring you a short glass with an ounce of room temperature, single malt, scotch whiskey, and a separate small tumbler of water as a chaser or a palate cleanser. And question five, which British band popularized the Tequila Sunrise? It was Mick Jagger from the Rolling Stones that became enamored with this cocktail at the launch party for their 1972 US tour. The band continued to order it at bars all over the country where it soon became a regular drink on cocktail menus. The Stones went as far as dubbing that period of their career as the Cocaine and Tequila Sunrise Tour. Now, let's check our answers for the cocktail garnish questions and see if you got any bonus points for identifying the correct glassware. Question six, what is the garnish for a pina colada? The pineapple wedge is the classic garnish for this tropical cocktail. And the traditional glassware for the cocktail is the Poco Grande, which you'll recognize from the tropical drink emoji. The Poco Grande is similar in shape to a hurricane glass, but smaller in volume with a longer stem. Question seven, what are the two classic garnishes for a mojito? A fresh sprig of mint and a wheel of lime would be the traditional garnishes. Mojitos are traditionally served on the rocks in a Collins glass, a tall straight sided tumbler. Question eight, what is the garnish for a Gibson? This cocktail is like a martini, but without the olive. It's traditionally garnished with a small pickled onion speared on a cocktail pick. It's served up in a cocktail coupe or a martini glass. Question nine, what is the garnish for a boulevardier? This cocktail is traditionally garnished with an orange twist and sometimes with a brandied cherry. It's most often served in an old fashioned glass, but some bartenders get fancy and serve it in a coupe. And our final question of the episode number 10, what are the four classic garnishes for a Pimm's cup? The queen herself has decreed that this drink must be ostentatiously garnished. The usual suspects are cucumber slices, strawberries, lemon wheels, and mint leaves. Variations for different fresh herbs will also be accepted. A Pimm's cup is served on the rocks in a highball glass. And you've made it to the end of this quiz. Well done. Quizzing is thirsty work. Add up your score and let me know in the comments how many fake internet points you've earned. Make sure to brag about your bonus points. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please help out the channel by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. All these interactions help this channel grow. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon with a fresh set of questions on that quiz show. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to order up another round of trivia, here's some additional episodes.